So I'm sure you guys have probably seen Tom in our previous videos. He's the one that puts on the DeLand and the Daytona Comic Cons that we have set up at before, and we're really excited. We're headed to his storage unit right now. It's like an invite only event, so there's, I think still gonna be a good amount of people there, probably around like 20 people or something like that. But I think he has multiple units set up, right? Multiple units that he has inside of the storage facility, and he's gonna be just setting up tables like on the inside, pretty much with the inventory he sets up with at the uh, conventions, he's just gonna have a lot more of it because he has the storage unit right there with all the stuff, so it's a lot easier for him. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. I've never been to a storage unit sale like this before, so it'll be a first time, and Tom's always got some great books. We're looking for some horror magazines today, some creepy mags or some eerie mags. Sarah's looking for some vampirellas, and then I'm looking for some nice key issue, like wall books and stuff, so we'll see how it goes today. Are you going in there? Yeah. All right, let me, I'm gonna follow you in. I wasn't sure if that's where we're going. Have you been here before, Pedro? Yeah, 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 so, so yeah, he's awesome. Tell he does this pretty often, right? This is like the first time he I heard about this. Yeah, but he does from time to time. This is and if you ever want to, just talk to him and he'll might set it up for you. You just walk in here. Now don't record the code. Can't record the code. Top secret. So look. <laughs> People are already having a good time back there. Oh yeah. I think I hear Jeff laughing. <laughs> good morning. Cool. Oh, I knew I heard you. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Well, we got, we still got shiny Oh, this is awesome. Morning. Morning. Somebody bought all these? <laughs> no, it's not me. Oh wow, he's got all the tables set up. Wow, everything looks nice. You find anything cool, Jeff? Not yet. I just, we just got here. We helped Tom set up, so we just got here. I've never seen Howard the Duff magazines before. These are funny. Yeah, uh, yeah, those are. Those are cool. And he just put, he just uh, refreshed everything. There are vampirellas here. Somewhere. I gotta find the vampirella bottle. We've been looking for some eerie mags and creepy mags and stuff. Creepies. Yeah. Creepies. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, here's some eerie mags. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are nice. I want to find some higher grade stuff. Tom, 15 bucks. Nice. Tom's oh, that one's cool. Grade. That's one thing you, you can, uh, I can promise you that. Oh, yeah. Tom's always Tom's got great magazines. The 113 I got from him was an 8.5 8. Oh, wow. actually. <laughs> so I know for sure it's high grade stuff. So. These are cool. Sarah always likes picking up the ones with the girls on the covers. Yeah. Girls are better you. than <laughs> <laughs> No, it's me. Robots are cool, but yeah, but girls the, are the ones he picks, uh, the ones she picks up, yeah. it's a pretty much it's either Gonzalez or either yeah, either one of the other other Spanish artists. So oh, that's cool. Oh, that one's pretty cool. A dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, that's a really baby. nice copy. Oh, there they are. I'm gonna yeah. have to dig through there. Do my list. I finally made a. Uh, you finally made a list. I <laughs> well, I, I had a list on my notes, but now I have the little CLZ app. Oh, uh, now you got I'm a like good an list. official collector. Look at me. Yeah, isn't that pretty cheap too? What did you say it was like a dollar? Uh, yeah, I think it was a day or something like, like that. No, not a dollar a day. It's like a dollar a month. So we oh, yeah, a dollar a I month. Mean, That's really I'm good. Sure you pay for the whole year anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I don't got to worry like about it. Bucks or something like that. Yeah, you pay for the whole year. You yeah. don't got to worry about it. I wonder what these look like. Just regular comics, and then over here, look at all this stuff. This is all the back stock inventory. I'm sure that he just picks from when he goes to the shows. Action Comics, issue 291. Oh, nice. 372. Nice a lot. Action Comics, Superman, Devil Dinosaur, Eternals. Some Fantastic Four. Always looking for Silver Surfer covers. Oh, Firestorm. Number one. There's some modern what stuff over that? there, huh? Is this like a key? Uh, it's the first time when they, when they're uh, when these that group of uh, Guardians are together. From the record stat, well, it'll be twenty percent because it's consignment wall stock or mm -hmm. original art, and everything this way will be thirty percent or more. Oh, you okay. do have original art. I, I forgot. Yeah. yeah. So there's a table over here. Oh, cool. So you guys can go through any of that stuff. Um, it's all published artwork. So um, price per page. Um, then, like I said, there's some wall stock, some great stuff here. Um, and then there's the consignment stuff that I'm doing over here that has white labels on it. Um, all brand new 
kind of stuff that's not seen the shows yet. Mm -hmm. um, some early Spider-Mans and stuff. Ooh, I'm going to hit that one mm -hmm. first. Um, all the magazines have been restocked since the last time I saw you guys. Yeah, you have a lot of, a lot yeah. of new ones in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then if there's more stuff you want to dig at, we can okay. pull more stuff out. You, you can cool. tell that there's plenty of stuff to pull yeah, out. There's <laughs> so you just decide cool. what you guys want to look at. Um, start here with what we got, and then... If you if you get energetic and want to look at more, I'll find more for you. Awesome, right. Tom. Yeah, this That's is good. sweet. Yeah. yeah. All right, where do I start? Where are we starting? Well, it, where do you I want think to go? Pedro's going to take all your ASMC. You might want to go down. I'm gonna take well, let me go see what's over there. Second Punisher. Are you big on second appearances? I know everybody likes first appearances, but not too many people like go after the you know, second appearances. Hey, when you can afford the first appearance, second appearance is the best. Right? <laughs> this is a pretty nice one here. Well, well as one person used to tell me, no grades, but, uh, low grade is better than no grade. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. Oh, that's a great one there. The flat cover. McFarlane. What are you finding over there, Sarah? Some art? Yeah, look at this one. This one's cool. Black paper, Whoa. which is like all tied up. 350. But there's some cool, um, like Betty and Veronica pages in here too. I only started going through this, so I haven't gone through everything so far. It's a cool one. And then a lot of Betty and me. Some cool published pages. Yeah, it's cool because they're, um, you know, they're actually published <laughs> yeah. pieces. I'm looking Those for superhero cool. stuff though. I'm looking. What is that? Deathstroke? Yeah, this is Deathstroke. That's a cool page. Looks like the, what, what is that called? A bazooka? Um, a bazooka. <laughs> He's not around the page though, I don't see Deathstroke on the page. No, I don't think so. I would love a Deathstroke piece, that'd be cool. Alright, let's see what we got. There's portfolios Stack everywhere. I know we're missing out on the comics too. <laughs> Pedro's pulling out all the good ones. That's a is nice this, one. Is this the first Hammerhead? Or is it... Um... It's, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, the that is the first, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. How many times have you done this, Tom? This is the first time we've like... I've done it a few times. I'm coming out now. Um, usually, like when I buy big collections and I'm like trying to gut it out. Um, this is every now and then I do it with the regular stock that we use at shows. We had to find new ways around doing sales. So at that time, I had like nine tables down here spread apart, and um, and we'd have people come over. And of course, you have to wear your mask and all that. The only other thing we did was we did um, Airbnbs. A friend of mine, Tony Hines, and I. Um, rented a couple of houses. Um, we did one in Tampa, we did one in Orlando, and then yeah. we did one up in Jacksonville at his house. And we would uh, just by invite certain, like one or two people on Friday, um, five or six people on Saturday, five or six people on Sunday. You've been to those, Pedro? Oh, yeah. So it's just, well, it just a different way to do it. Dang, that's a nice one right there for 30 bucks. Right? Yeah. Ooh, that's cool right and, there. And you, get, and you get a discount on top of that. Oh, these are discounted? What's the discount on these? 20%. Oh, I forgot he said that. Ooh, that's nice. Pick that up, Pedro. For I have two of them already. You want it? I already have two. Everybody's always looking for this one. A little bit of a lower grade copy. That's a cool one right there, though. It's a nice shape, too, man. So this is two issues before the first Spider-Man. Yeah, no, I'm a, oh, 13. Got to go through those magazines over there, too. Don't forget. I know. I just finished the artwork already. You didn't see anything you wanted? No. Well, I, I like them, but not for me. See, that's the thing about magazines is there's so many different ones that have yeah, great just covers. Yeah, just getting all this stuff. And then this one is, he, he actually, the oh, artist, this is actually the artist. Oh, he did a self-portrait? Yeah, self-portrait. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, so. Oh, Might need that one. Yeah, 45. Oh, we missing the these Vampirellas over here, though. You, you yeah, I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Neil Adams, first work at Warren. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Creepy. That's cool. Issue number... Is this issue 14 of Creepy? Yeah, right. That's yes. what... 14. Oh, okay, yeah. These Creepies are cool. Issue number three. First, Dax the Warrior. Are there like first appearances and key issues yep. on magazines yes. a lot of times? Yep. I didn't think about yeah, that. In, in Erie, there was uh, the Rook was one of them. Yeah, the the, the cowboy. The oh, that's a great the cover there. Cowboy. I don't have the last issue. Oh, that's the last issue for. Oh, that one's 13. sick with the dragon. Is it 112? Yeah, it's one twelve. It's Warren's last Look at that, issue. Sarah. Wow. Is the, is that's that's the cool. What is that? Three hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, I love this cover. It's a hard this cover. is heavy too. This yeah. is. Yeah. I've cool. never even seen that. What does that say? McFarland Spawn? 
Go ask Tom what that is. Issue 1 through 12. Oh, this must be like one of the first omnibuses, maybe. They actually took the issues and bound them all together. Oh, so um, all the comics are in there. Yes, with the covers. Yep. So 1 through 12. And then there's a blue cover that did um, 13 through 20 something. Yeah, company. Oh, wow, yeah. that's you really can cool. Do that with all your vampires yeah. too. So is that like factory like that. sealed too? No, no, no. It's just in its own bag to protect it from getting scuffed up yeah. and stuff. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's really cool. Yeah, a lot of different neat stuff. So is it? It's all the comics that are bound together. It's all one through 12. So somebody did that, right? Or is that the company did it? Because it looks official. Yeah, it's probably it's an official. The overprinted over material. Yeah. And they bound them together. And then the blue volume, cool. volume two, has uh, from thirteen to twenty something. So they're very, very limited. I've not owned too many of them. To yeah, group. I've never seen one. Before. I've never seen one. Yeah. yeah. What is that back there? That looks like anime or something. Yeah. Oh, Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls. Girls. Yeah, box set that they did. Just unique different stuff. Hero Initiative Limited 7,000. I always love when they did the Avengers and the Justice League. Do you think they'll ever do that again? Like Marvel and DC will do like Amalgam or anything? Mm, that'll be, it, it'll be a day. These are some of the other ones, like what you were looking at. Oh yeah? So, and like I said, what they covered the title, mm -hmm. and then inside there's a picture of the, the cover, yeah. and then the synopsis of the book. This was one of the ways to, to index what you you, yeah, what you, have. you had or to look and get research on yeah. something. Nowadays, you can go online and go to Grand Comic Book Database, mm -hmm. and you can find everything out that you want to. You really like magazines, huh? You're like the... <laughs> the I like the art guy. side. The black and white is so much better when somebody hasn't gone over... Oh, look at that and... cover. Sarah, look at that one. That looks pretty crazy with the deer. Carrying oh, really. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, that's yeah, a fun one there. I think Vampirella. That's Vampirella right there. Yeah. That is cool. It tells you how many pages of art that somebody did. Yeah. So Steve Dicko, Steve Dicko, so, and this so would they tell just you a little. would tell them like yeah. what came out that year? Or yeah. it would well, be like multiple years? It, this, this ran up to a certain amount of issues. Um, so up to 73 with the annuals and everything. Um, but then they also did the magazines. And then this was a giveaway that came in um, a magazine. So if you found a magazine, um, I magazine was one of them. Yeah. And this little giveaway was stuck in it. Oh, cool. So, but this would give you an idea of certain stuff yeah. if you were a collector, like 129, John Romita. They don't sit here and go, oh my god, this is the major book. They yeah. just tell you basically who did the background inks, the comments on, this yeah, is the Punisher. Up, but it's not to be, you know, there was a guy who introduces well, the Punisher in 49. Let's see what page those got. Fire and Ice number one, picking up some modern goodness there. Amazing Spider-Man 123. Oh, I love that one. That's such a cool one. 52. You got 51. Nice issue of 53. Hitting the Spider-Man's hard. 105. There's some really nice spiders in that box. Picking up two of those, second appearance of the Punisher. You love the Punisher, huh? Yeah, and that coverage is great. The problem is that I need too many and I want to get the early ones. I told you, you gotta see, see make them an offer on a box or something. I know, Sarah, I'll hold this stuff for you. It doesn't matter. I do it for everybody hold it, else. Hold it for me forever, Tom. I'm yeah. Okay. <laughs> is this what you're thinking about right now? That's what I did. Yeah, because those are <laughs> Don't you have this one, though? No, I don't have 24. Some of them look similar. I don't have that one. These are the ones I do have. So these are the earliest ones that I need. So this is the earliest one. 17. I don't have that one. And then, 19, which this is the super special issue. That one is pricier. No, I don't. I'm telling you, a lot of them look the same. I booked them all organized. See? Look at me. Got my list. And then, 21. Oh, they did? Yeah. And 24. Anything specific on your list today? No. Just big on like 1 to 100 Spider Man. Big on early Disney, you don't have to Scrooge, but hard to find. Yeah, Disney stuff is hard to find, especially the older stuff in solid shape. Exactly. There's like magazine heaven over here. I know, there's so many of them. Oh, okay. oh that's cool. There's two issues that hold this head. I've read, I've read the back, I'm like, oh, some of them. Cool. <laughs> little teddy bear. Everything on that side is. That's funny. Issue 53. 1973. Ooh, that one's cool. Yeah. 
Look how sick that cover is. This guy's over here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This cover? See, see, I didn't even check these boxes either. Well, after I gave a few away for free. <laughs> Me and Quinn. Oh, that's yeah, a great one there. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. What are you guys searching for today? Uh, nothing in particular. Just seeing what, uh, see what's available. See what pops out. You, you want to speculate? Yeah, that. Maxwell, Maxwell Lord just got cast. This is his first appearance right here. Yeah, they cast some James Gunn's brother out of yeah, him, I think. Which right? means he's going to go a long time. He's not going to kill his brother. Uh, uh, cool. <laughs> oh, well, you don't like the casting? Yeah. Why? It's a little nepotistic. <laughs> so? He's, he's been doing that since, yeah. since day one. That's true. This is true. So, it's nothing new. Yeah. Let's see if he... If he's By the way, the entire... every Everybody in Hollywood is like that. Yeah, so it's nothing, nothing changed. They all. Yeah. Whether or not you have talent is irrelevant. If, if you're somebody's son or daughter. I have another one. How can you not get that? Christmas. Oh, that is pretty perfect. With the sand on the hatchet. It says "Merry Christmas" with the girl. Tony Daniel cover. Yeah, this is Frank Frazetta. This is illustrated. Oh, that's yeah, cool. yeah, that's cool. Limited but edition of a thousand. Hmm. Started, they were like yeah. to see, there's that's a great cover there too. But you want to hear the funny yeah. thing though? It's on one of the other vampies too. It's a it's a back cover of the, one of the vampies. Oh, cool! It's a it's a silver cover and it has a snake on it. And then this is the back cover of that one. If you can't afford the original ones, but you want to oh, yeah, reread yeah. the books, so one, one, in that this is a great way to do it, man. Like, Perfect. How many different stories are in yes. there? <laughs> I'll go that way. So is it just the one? No, no, there's usually two oh, yeah, or three. One twenty-one and one twenty-two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's more than one at least. Are they so this is still, they're still raw, right? Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is worth collecting, though. I gotta start digging. Christmas dig, 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 dig. I gotta start going through some stuff. I'm letting Sarah dig through all the the magazines. All right, so let's see. Pedro went through this and got some really nice stuff. This is a great one. He says it's up to thirty percent off. First appearance of Man Wolf, one eighty-five. This is a great one here. First appearance of Morbius, 185 bucks. Solid looking one. 200. 125. First Beta Ray Bill, Spider Woman. This is a great plaque cover. 57. I'm looking if he has the uh, 105. First appearance of Thunderbolts. I want to see if he has the first plat. It's 105 bucks on the first Man Wolf. First appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Oh, Tomb of Dracula, number one. That's a nice copy, too. More Amazing Spider-Man. Look at that Craven cover. That's a nice one there. 60 bucks? That ain't bad. Number 58. Because I think he says, I don't know if these are 20% off or 30% off. 20%? Okay. 45 bucks 85 ooh that's a clean copy that on cool. uh, 73 yeah Ramita. man mountain marco that's a nice one so like 6 to 17 bucks. bucks off 76 for 45 bucks yeah that's nice with the lizard Some nice spice here maybe we'll get a little pile to the side i don't know if this is someone else's pile here let me go through i like uh i like the condition on this one's nice 73. Let's see what else we got here. This is the death of Captain Stacy. Yeah. 90. Oh, this is a great one. First Iceman on Amazing Spider Man. You got the Prowler. 35 bucks. The staples are a little, a little shot. $35 on 94. These $30 Spider Man's are a little decent grabs. Oh, it's got a little tear right there, but still a, still a cool book. 65 bucks another Ramita cover on 97 oh look at that one that one's nice 55 dollars on 103 make sure the staples are good put that one to the side oh that's a great one there with craven 55 45 bucks Oh, that's a sick one there. 107. This is a key here. This is actually a nice little $55 grab. Especially with the uh, the discount. First appearance of the Gibbon. Put that one to the side. These Craven covers are nice, too. I always try to grab these. Craven's one of my favorite um, Sinister Six villains. 55 bucks. 
Mm. He's got a lot of these at this $55 mark. That one for 40 bucks is a nice one too. 113. Pedro skipped on a lot of these. Let's see, oh, this is another cool one. Oh, with the whole thing. Yeah, it's always so expensive though. This one's at 85 bucks, which is a pretty decent price, being as though it's in solid shape. Let's see what else we got? Bunch of Spider-Man, forty dollars, eighty bucks on that one. First appearance of Nebula. I like how he's got like the keys too. Oh, this is a cool one here. Defenders number one. And you got issue number 10 with Thor. Giant size Defenders number three. First appearance of Korvac. Iron Man number 47. That's a cool cover there. Marvel Boy number one. Ant-Man. Oh, Moon Knight. This is his second um, solo, right? So Spotlight. I think the other one's his first. Issue 28. Marvel Tales. Micronauts. Oh, here you go. This is an awesome book here. Okay. Ooh, that's a clean copy too. It's always, this book though, everybody loves this one. It's a pretty pricey one. So a little spine tick down here at the bottom. 80 bucks. The first Stephen Platt artwork on Marvel. A great wall book too. Oh, this is another nice one too. Issue 25, first black, oh, 10 bucks. That's a grab for 10 bucks. First black Spectre. First professional Bernie Wrightson work. House of Mystery, 179, 12 cent. It's a really solid one too, 155. Let's see what this one. 181. These are some great covers. Looks like Neil Adams. 181. Let's see what else is over here. Black Goliath number one. That's not a book you see very often. The Spectre. Issue number one. That's cool. Justice League number 14. That's a nice copy too. 178. Get the flashlight out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is this your stack of magazines? Yeah, that's mine. So we have this one. 38. That's a cool cover there. Yeah, I thought that one was cool. Like seven bucks. Seven. And then those are my the earliest of the vampirellas that he had that I need. Staples a little wonky on that one, huh? Just gotta make sure. Whoa, that one. Super spectacular. These vampies get pricey. Magazine hunting. J. Lee cover. Yeah, I'm trying to find some cool like horror mags. Yep. And then some Spider-Mans whenever I can. Some X-Men here. 132. 60 bucks. You got that one for 75. Great burn covers. First solo John Constantine. This is an awesome one here. First Watchmen. This one doesn't get enough love. No. What do you want on it? Uh, this one's a 90 bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, you don't see the first one too often. Number three, Masters of the Universe. Spider-Man. Ooh, Wonder Woman. I haven't seen that. I oh, that's seen cool. Oh, that is a cool one. Whoa, look at that. I haven't seen this that one before. Is what issue is that? Oh, 199. 199. <laughs> that is cool. That was a pretty crazy uh, cover. 115 bucks. <laughs> Grab for friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. So many good ones. Pink Panther, number one. What is this? Signed by Olivia. Oh, so it must be the girl on the cover or something. Well, or the artist. Olivia is the hmm. artist. Oh, oh, the artist. The artist? Ah. Limited edition. Olivia is a airbrush artist. Oh. Oh, this is hard to find, right? Isn't this like a super low print? Oh, that's the last issue? Oh, this is the last issue. Yep. That's a Mobius come up. Do you have this one? No. I only have the bad one. I think that's the last issue. Final issue of Blunt Syndicate. Yeah, I've been getting into uh, indie books a little bit more, realizing that the final issues are super uh, low print on some of them. I just sold that book on Instagram that Dazzle will come. Oh, yeah. This one? Oh, the thriller one? <laughs> yeah. This is a fun one, too. Marvel Man changes his name to Quasar. 234, this Incredible Hulk. Mm -hmm. That's such a nice cover, too. Like yeah. the condition of it. Yeah. 265. Moon Knight. Oh, here you go. First, oh, I'm looking for the first print. That's the third print. You need one? I don't need it. I'm just oh, I'm so just looking might, for I one. I got one for you if you need it. I used to have one. Yeah, I've got two. First print. Yeah, everybody's always looking for those. Yeah. Captain America. First John Walker as U.S. agent. That's a good book. 
I remember it used to be super Holy. cheap. Yeah. Well, big stack of I books put, there. I put, I put that stack right there. Let's see what we got. Action Comics, get more and more into the DC, huh? Well, I just love that cover. She's like looking a bit like the first that's time. That's a good one too. That's the first time she shows up as uh like the ninja, right? Yeah. In the new armor. Strange Adventures. Who Dead Man? Everybody loves Dead Man. These are early appearances of him too. His first appearance is 205. That's 213. 212. That's cool. That's a cool cover, right? Yeah, I like that one. For even the bold. 93. Oh, there you go. And the Death in the Family. The Mike Mignola set. I got the, yeah, I the new the stand copy. Oh, you did find the Death of Robin. Yeah. That's the cool one. And then the Joker cover. That's like a whole DC stack. That's a nice one, too. Batman issue 353. And then your Justice League. McFarlane covers. Taking that one for sure. This is a cool, a cool cover, but <laughs> definitely taking that one. Thinking about taking this one. Yeah, it's a cool cover. Too. Are these yours too? No, those are Woodley's. The Woodley grabbing the Daredevils. Nice Daredevil grabs. Good one too. Yeah, Matt and, and G-Man are thinking of the Golden Age book. Original art. I like yeah. this better than the comics, I'm telling you. So, so this is the back cover of this one. Oh, is it? So that's, oh, that's, the, uh, that's the one right here, Angelo. So it is this 37, and this is the back cover of 37. Yeah, they, they also do a book called Creeps. Creeps. Oh, I think I saw some of those yeah, in here. Yeah, so they'd be over by the creep piece. Yeah. But, you know, if you want to be in the same... Yeah, Again, the, same it, the problem happens that you, you start liking Warren, and then the next thing you know, you get into everything else. Yeah, exactly, and, no, and then I have I've, too afraid. many books. <laughs> it's all right. We I'm trying. Help you. We can help you with your addiction. <laughs> My addiction. My magazine addiction. Yeah, these are solid copies. Where's the Vanrellas, too? They're all over here. I feel like I'm missing those. Cover, have some go through them. I grabbed all the good early ones. It starts right somewhere around there. So yeah, the first two. Okay. You have this one? Yep. Yeah. I've seen it, I just never owned it. Got that one. I know, those are both nicer than mine, I think. Yeah, these are probably nicer than yours, though. Yeah, that one's definitely nicer than the one I have. That one. So why don't you buy this and then sell the one you have? Oh, I guess. I don't know. Or do you want to just get something completely new to add to it? Do you have that one? Yeah, I have that one. Yeah, but these are nice. Yeah, I know. Yours aren't this nice, I don't think. Well, I know that, but I already have them. That's you gotta start somewhere. And she, she likes to read them. So that's start a different, somewhere. That's yeah, but I'm like, should you should you upgrade the ones you have since this no, year? No, I do just, just want to complete. Going after the run, I, I would I would go after the run myself and then finish put the run together yourself. and then then from there do like Jeff did and he started working and getting better books. Yeah, yeah see. And then I'm he was a nice guy it. and he gave some of his books mm -hmm. away. Yeah, he gave a few mm -hmm. of them to Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if I'm that works. nice, but we'll see. Sierra literally <laughs> doesn't even. She's got a couple duplicates, so she doesn't. None of them. I was gonna keep them all. Oh, you didn't want one. these ones? Well, I'm trying to go. I was breaking the bank with my my earlier issues here. You know? Well, this one maybe. Get the early maybe we could put this one. No, I think I need that. The Santa one though? It's a holiday read. You put it on the coffee table for when the family comes over. Uh, and this is a newer book. This is a newer book. <laughs> I got my Santa Playboy on the table. Okay. Then that won't be that won't be a surprise. As long as the nieces and nephews don't open it. A lot of those like middle I feel like I have like some from the beginning. Well like I feel like it's kind of all over. Yeah, but the conditions what you're looking at, you know, these are really nice. The conditions what you're looking at. Well, let her finish. She only got 20. Let her finish the run for That's what I'm saying. And let her up. I only got 20 of them, Angela. Okay. I'm just trying to get them all together first, and then I'll worry about upgrades. That's cool. Yeah. They're all cool. Each Vampirella cover. Cool in its own way. French Vampirella. I'm get this one, <laughs> Look at him. He's like, uh, actually. Take it. You need that yeah. one, Jeff? Yeah, I do. It's a French edition. That's cool. Yep. Oh, so you huh. have the complete run, but you don't have the French version. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. see? Got to expand. Get all the vampirellas. I have that one. I like that cover. 
Oh, it's cool too. I think I got one. Oh, he's nice. Aren't they so cool? They are. They're just a little freaking pricey. I'm like looking yeah, at him and I'm like, okay, Vampirella. should you get a Vampirella or Spider Man? He's got a lot more Spider Mans Definitely in there for 55 bucks. Comment down below. Should you buy a Vampirella or a Spider Man? We all know the answer. We all know the answer. Vampirella for sure. These guys are hitting it hard over here. Digging. You guys no check way. out that original art? He's got some original art too. No. Are you guys going to the show in, in uh, January? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll be there. Did you go to Falcon? No, I haven't. Oh. Yeah, I want to see what that other one is. There's two of them? I said there's two. Tom said there's two of them. We haven't found the second one. 235. Yeah, the staple rust. Child here. <laughs> worse than locking yourself out of your unit, right? Oh, that's what. <laughs> I didn't realize they were locked up. <laughs> what are those? Nice. Warren Gentlerella books. Oh, those are really Let me show cool. you. Let me show you. Let me show you, Jeff. Have you seen these before? Yeah, I've been looking for them. <laughs> uh, uh oh, Jeff's been looking for them. That's not good. But it's the whole set. Yeah. And they're all signed by Ron Gullart. Yep, the, the writer. How much are those? They're 30 bucks a piece. Uh, I would go with those. I wouldn't go with your magazines. I would go with those. Be oh, honest. No, just stress me out now. Why would you go over those over the magazines? Yeah, harder to find. That's true. Magazines oh, are barnacles. easier to find. These are harder to, to, to come by. And plus, she, he can hold them for you. So you can get a couple of them and then he can hold the rest of them. But, um, so what do you want to do? Put back these Eries? I'm just trying to find the nicest copies is what I'm doing. They're kind of expensive at 60 bucks. But these things are really nice. Well, thanks, Sam. December 3rd, 75. I wasn't even born. This book was hanging out. They would just sit there. So. Well, I, would, I would actually read them. No, like I said, yeah. uh, if I got them, they would just sit there. <laughs> oh, no. Look, all right, I'm making decisions. Come, come here, come here. I'm coming. You see this box right here? Yeah. Uh-huh. I got some up in there. Here, hold it, too. I got the whole box. Yes, yeah. so we'll hold it for you for a while. Okay. But after a year, I take it back, okay? Oh, no. All right. <laughs> okay. So this way, your hmm. decision won't be so tough. Okay. You can, so which one do I not want yeah. right now? <laughs> Well, let's count up the Spider-Mans that Angelo definitely wants. Whoa, 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 why Angelo get in over there? Yeah, that's not even a flying. Spider-Man is always about that. first place. I'm not even talking about that, Angelo. And sometimes I'll find some cool Batmans that I gotta I'm not get. Even about that. What did you get? <laughs> let's just see what we got here. Well, that's like, that's like a hundred. That's one forty-five. That's another. 100. I can't. That's like two. Turn down some nice Spider-Mans on discount. Three. Yeah, those I can do, 60. I do 20 on because they belong to somebody else, so um, I just have to write those down yeah, whatever so you decide to take. So 360. Yep. I found another one of these, so if you so want to take a look at this stack. one in case you want this one instead. So this is like 300 after the 20%. Okay. Okay. Why are you hoarding this whole area? I'm Ooh, I'm gonna buy you. No, you're not touching are mine. Me, bro. <laughs> not really. Those are great. Are good. Not right now. Which? I can not see. Hot Wheels, the book. No, 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 no. I oh, stressed okay. him. Yeah. No, because Adam's did a couple of covers that's on it. Okay. Or, that, that's, 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 that's what we do. We get it, we yeah. put it on the wall. Those what we do. We need the issue. What we do. How much are those Vampirella books? The, to your left there, those little ones. Yeah, what, these ones? And it's no, the little books to your left that Tom just gave you. Oh, they're 30 bucks. Yeah, I mean, they're 36. Your, your, not the nine. Nine. So that's no, no, okay. 180 for the whole set. Oh, oh, yeah, but, uh, so, are they on 20% off too or no? I don't know. Better back yeah. better back yeah. back so that would be it. It was on the sale. It's just that and then let's do some girl math here. So with the discount. That divided by six. Yeah, now I know what you're looking for. For books from 1975. Alright, if you want them, I mean, it's up to you. So what's our stack at? 
together with the Spider-Mans and the Vampirellas so far. It'd be 480 without those discounts. But why don't you get one Vampirella? Good thinking. I should get one. That's a good Just get the nicest one, though. You know? Okay, good thinking. Good thinking. Let's take a look. So out of all these ones, well, that one's a little crazy. Probably don't need that one. That was nice. I think this one. The biggest thing with that one was that bottom staple. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's like okay, almost okay. popping out. I gotcha, I gotcha. That orange one's nice, though. That orange one is nice. I think that one is the nicest one. Okay, I need that one. Okay, so there we go. Now, the stack's complete. Put these back where yeah, this thing's go. pretty solid shape. Issue 21. And then we're gonna grab these. These things are pretty cool. They're signed, too. Signed by Ron. Yeah, by the author. Or the writer or something like that. Where's it signed by? On the inside? Yeah, he said the first page. They're all signed. That's cool. I can read them on my PTO break for the holidays. <laughs> There you go. Oh, yeah. They're cheaper to price than the less uh, <laughs> the condition. Look at that. It looks like it's been restapled. No? Yeah. Or maybe it just looks like that. Which one's that? To me, I was like, that's fine. It's the same one. No, but it was the same one. This one has a staple here <laughs> and here. I think Angelo pulled it out. And these yeah. staples yeah. are on the side. The book. <laughs> and, and hmm. If that promo book was in the magazine, and you had the magazine with it, you'd be looking at 100 plus. Dollars. Yeah. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's like a little half comic. Yeah, my boots. I was like, that's the cover of the Mary Jean, right? Like the first Mary Jean, I think. Yeah, I think so. That's cool. You got some neat stuff, Tom. Something different. Promo comics. Again, you go down a rabbit hole when you start collecting. Yeah. <laughs> what are you collecting? Your personal collection? Nothing. Nothing. I don't collect anything. Really? I like accumulating the magazines. Covered by Mobius. It's a really solid one. It's just got. It looks like a little bit of splitting on the spine there, starting to uh, happen. But this would be a nice grab. What is that? Is that number one? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Creepy number one. Yep, and then Frazetta got a story in it. Inside. Is this an original? Yep. Oh, you haven't seen this one, did you? Look at this one, Sarah. Yep, that's... Uh, that's issue Goddess. seven. Look how oh, nice seven. that is. Sun Goddess. Wow, look how nice that one is, seven. too. That's, that's Sun a little pricier. That's, uh, uh, that's Frazetta's Sun Goddess. If you put back those books, you can get that one. Don't forget, she so can hold the books for you. So, <laughs> that's up to you. She can, he can hold that one, too. Just ask him to hold it. Well, we can do it. Yeah, put Angelo's uh, Spider-Man's back? We could. We could put Spider-Man <laughs> back. That's always an option. Or, I can put back this for 21 which was $55. And then, we're just going to need to tack on an additional $60. Because this one is early. Can I do a little trade? So you'd rather get rid of this instead of keeping those? Yes, because I told you, I need the earlier issues. And this would be my earliest one that I have, because I only have eight. Okay, if you say so. So put back the magazine. All about the logistics. Be easy there. Don't bend that though. I'm not. I don't want you to. Oh, bend my number. Put those in the middle. I know. I'm not very. <laughs> I'm not a very good. So she did the smart thing. Put the harder to come by. I've been giving spine ticks all over the place. Forever. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, that's cool. I was like 20 bucks. That's the cheapest I've found so far. We got three of them here. Yeah, that's a cool one there. So way cheaper than the other one. No, it was six. You're welcome. Are you gonna keep it? Keep the cheap one. No, I'm trying to grab some Spider-Man. She's all vampirella out. We're magazines out for now. I'm a Spider-Man guy. I like magazines, but I'm more into the uh, the forty-five dollars Spider-Man. Such a clean copy too. You know what I mean? Like these are these are my books right here. My favorites. Quite your own. There's so much stuff you gotta figure out what you want. <laughs> oh, the people over there? The people over there? <laughs> yeah, I think they cracked open the thing. Maybe there's some good stuff in there. Comment down below if you guys want us to buy a storage unit and break the lock. I know, we gotta do that with like Pedro though. When you do stuff like that, you gotta go with a bunch of money. <laughs> would you ever buy a storage unit of comics, Pedro? I, I would. You always gotta worry though that it's been like dug through by you like you never know what's inside, you know? Yeah. Number two. Of oh, the same of the same three hundred bucks. Alright. Yeah, but the variant covers are they for set of covers? One sixty five, oh, Tales of Horror number two. That's Do you know cool. how many they did? Every one had different ones. This is Frank Cho. Cover detached. Oh, so these are newer books. Yeah. Okay. Here's some oldies here. 
Coliseum of Comics one in here. <laughs> one five. Not that I really care. Oh, this is a good one. First, yeah, this is the first solo Morbius. Give you an idea. One twenty-five. Down a rabbit hole here, buddy. I know. <laughs> That's what I always do. Why? What's the, what are you looking at over there? I to find whole stacks of books over here. I didn't think you'd be getting into all the magazines. I've, I've been into magazines forever. I just don't like them in, in super high grade because I like to read them. There's 99. And then it was the first Alpha Flight, right? Yeah. 235 bucks. 120. Oh, this is a great one here. I have this in a 9.6 in my personal collection. Kitty Pride and Emma Frost. <laughs> Uh, first Dazzler, where my, where my 250. Oh, Toxic Avenger, first appearance, first appearance of uh, Rocketeer. That's a cool one. Dawn, Death of Superman. I read it, I'm like, I fell asleep with it. House of Mystery, 290. I Vampire. She Hulk, Ghost Rider. Oh, that's cool. It looks like it's signed too. Yeah, signed by Stan. Joe Jusco. This one's really nice. I know, I love that variant. Yeah. Twenty percent off is that'd be about a hundred dollars. Yeah, depends on how much Yeah. Oh, that's a cool one there. First appearance. Yes, yeah, this first appearance. I'm oh, pretty that's sure. Spider-Ham's first appearance? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, really? That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab it in. 105. Yeah, and then we're gonna put it in. Sandman. No, I wanna get that out. Uh, first appearance of Lucifer. We used to have a whole run of Sandman. Mm -hmm, I remember that. Before I knew like the keys and stuff. <laughs> I, I got rid of all of it. That's number one. Flash race with Superman. Man, this has been an awesome sale. So many cool books. Yeah, this has been really fun going through all the magazines. Yeah, it's awesome seeing what people are grabbing too. That's a nice one there for fifty. <laughs> Professor Zoom. I'm looking for this one in the variant cover. I got a beat up copy. The first Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. No, I don't want to play. There's so many books. I know it's it's a lot to look through. We've been hitting some really good sales lately too. Joe's sale yesterday was a lot of fun. We're getting some really nice stuff today too. The Spider Mans are going to be some nice grabs, and we'll see what the price is at the end of the day for everything. I know.